Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, what have we here? Creative Assembly has just released this little teaser here, ostensibly for something Warhammer related. Let's go ahead and give it a watch, and I'll give you my thoughts, kind of break things down based on what I've been able to learn. Let's get to it. He so we're at Aldor. The, the Grand Theogenist demands, as Zia stirs. Yes. As okay, so I'm actually, you guys can go watch the whole thing for yourselves if you want, you know, all the way through. Definitely recommend that first, but I'm going to just be kind of going through things. So this guy says, scan the heavens, the Grand Theogenist says, um, and he's going to say, the wind stirs, you know, be that magic or otherwise. So I also wanted to point out, some people had questioned this architecture looks a little bit different, mostly just because this Grand Astrolabe here, but we all are in Altdorf. This is the Empire, we've got this Empire. Soldier standing here looking up into the heavens as uh, the age will as well. The Grand Theogenist demands as Zia stirs. Yes. As wind is wanton to do. Okay, and now we've got this guy back here who looks extremely suspect. Um, he's got this interesting symbol on this book here that's glowing and it looks like maybe he's got some mutation going on with his forehead so we'll go ahead and just bypass that and here's our celestial wizard gazing up into the heavens so let's see what he sees magic or otherwise i am tired and drunk on rage my eye okay sorry pause that a little bit opportune there he says i'm tired and drunk on rage which is going to become relevant in just a minute my eyes seek to make a fool of me. <gasps> and the fool I have made. Grungis Baldric, revered by soldiers, dwarves, and dimwits aplenty. Okay, so Grugnis Baldric. We'll get to this symbol in just a minute here. I've helpfully been provided with some links from Loremaster of Sotek to help explain that a little bit. Um, but of course, we see also the twin tailed comet is an interesting one. I originally was not sure 100% that this was in fact a twin-tailed comet, but it does appear to be. But this symbol here, um, Grugni's Baldric. Baldric. So Grugni's I Balls, saw. I mean Baldric's. Um, yeah, so it's this symbol here. And this symbol, I have a little wiki page over here on the side, helpfully provided, is, as you I'm sure will hear several times today, is, uh, it's one of the star signs of the old world. It's the sign of martial pursuits appearing as a dwarf with a baldric <laughs> and is ascendant during late spring, early summer. Born under it, known to be disciplined, honorable, skilled, so on. Um, they tend to take soldiering very seriously, fanatically hone their skills. Yeah, so it's like the soldier's sign, the warrior's sign, if you will. Dim wits are plenty. And then it's being revealed by, he says, and dim wits are plenty revered by soldiers, dwarfs. Revealed by soldiers, dwarfs, and dimwits aplenty. And dimwits aplenty is an interesting one. So for me, this teaser s screams Warhammer 3. And uh, some people have speculated that this is potentially going to be a DLC, and I could maybe, maybe see that, but. Uh, it, maybe we're getting like a Dwarfs rework, like a Dwarfs DLC, but I really don't think so. I think this is probably something related uh, to Cold War Warhammer 3, which is awesome. I didn't know that we were going to be getting anything for that game anytime soon. I was honestly expecting it to be much later in the year, and we'd hear any news about that. But assuming that's what this is, just, you know, I'm kind of making an assumption there. Um, if we kind of analyze it from that perspective, for me this is very interesting because you've clearly got some kind of disturbance going on. This guy here, the back guy in the background, looks like he's got some kind of chaos mutation stuff going on, so immediately that says to me, you know, more evidence that could be related to Game 3. We know that Game 3 is going to be focused on chaos, largely, right? And so if we kind of frame things from that perspective, first thing I thought of when I looked at this Grungni's Baldric is like, oh, that sounds like a sort of related to Korn in a way, right? Like the, the, uh, the sort of warrior aspect of it, right? It's sort of like the almost like the order, like the Empire perspective of Korn, right? Not necessarily directly of him, but like kind of a 
I don't know, misinterpretation of him maybe? I'm not really sure, but to me it just seemed like kind of uh, related in that way, right? That was immediately my first kind of thought upon, uh, as I kind of clicked through this video a little bit, upon reading this, um, this wiki article here about this constellation, and uh, that was kind of my immediate thought and sort of talking with some other people, um, it seems like that could potentially be the other evidence I think that points to Korn is, is the lines he says here where he's tired and drunk on rage. We know that Korn is definitely an angry dude, so that again to me sort of points towards that. And also the line here where he says that it's the sign of dwarfs, soldiers, and whatever fools or, uh, you know, whatever he says, uh, dummies, you know, something to that effect. What is it? What is, what is the line exactly? Dimwits, and dimwits, okay. So, uh, we know that Korn sort of has a reputation for being a very angry dude, maybe not the brightest bulb in the chaos box. So, all those kind of uh, clues put together for me points towards Korn, which is awesome. I mean, that's, we, you know, we would expect him to be somehow involved in Total War Warhammer 3, so it kind of falls in line with what we'd expect. But let me know down in the comments below, guys. I personally am mega, mega hyped by this. Really looking forward to what they, uh, you know, what more information we see in the coming days, weeks, who knows, in terms of time frame of what we'll be getting when. But yeah, uh, big thanks for watching. If you guys like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Relatively quick one today. Just wanted to uh, quickly kind of get my thoughts out about this, kind of signal boost it, let you all know what I think. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts down in the comments below, so be sure to share that. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.